Hello. Another chilly guys video. Harvesting. Harvesting. Right. Um, we've got some red, red, red ones. This one here. Very red. Which means it's uh, actually going to be a lot hotter and a lot more flavoursome. We've got the orangey ones, which are going to be hot. Still flavoursome, but not as flavoursome. And then obviously we've got these ones, which are just not done yet. And there is a stage where they go from this to a darker green, and they can actually come off then as well. But there's actually less heat for this type of um, chilli. Which I found out the other day when um, eating one of its, um, let's say, cousins, the Scotch Bonnet. I had a green one and um, it wasn't that bad and I had a red one and it was really hot not as hot as these though, these are really hot second hottest in fact well, some of them look a bit weird to be honest with you so this is basically just take it from the, like as far up as you can go to the, to the uh, stalk just a bit of snip if the, if the uh, bit here, which I've gone to find the name of randomly. <laughs> Calyxin? Yeah. Is um, really thin. You could probably just use it your nails to pick it. But I just use these. See, these are available to me. And these, another point is these will carry on ripening when they're off the plant, providing you don't put them in the fridge, you just leave them into a, a sunny window sill or you put them in a brown paper bag with a banana skin. They will continue to ripen. Some of them are a little bit awkward to get to, so you might not be able to get it right to the stem, like that one there. So you just like take it off afterwards. Obviously with a plant like this, we can't take it, well, at the moment we probably could, but sometimes it grows into the greenhouse and you won't be able to get it out to cut them off, so you sort of have to... You could move it, but it's very heavy. ...lean round. Now hopefully the other ones will start kicking in once these ones are off. Um, might also see some more flowers. On it, even though it looks a little bit battered at the moment from the excessive nitrogen, hopefully that's been drained out of the plant now and we get some more flowers. Oh, there's a new one there, just coming down. Uh, these little marks you can see on the flowers are dead aphids from the um, killing off the aphid videos, uh, which you can also see. Now, um, that one is very Red Savina, Habanero, Habanero, Scotch Bonnet, that sort of family region style looking pepper. That one isn't. That's actually more what you would see commonly from the Dorset Niagara, which what was what these were originally bought under, but they all turned out like that. And this is from, I may have sent this many times in the past, this is from a pack of seeds. Um, which came from last year's plants, which we, we used this year, so technically they should all be the same, but they're not. There's a little bit of varieties there. Now these can be used for making a sauce, which will be in another video. Or um, obviously you can put them in the fridge, which will last a little while, two weeks, three weeks. Freezer lasts a lot longer, probably even a, like, possibly a year. I don't hold me to that. Um, you can pickle them, which will last like from now, which is um, August till about Christmas, so you can get them out of Christmas. Or uh, you can sell them, or you can just put them in random food. Like or you can dry them. Curry. Or you can dry them, yes. Oh. Which is, there's a two way method of doing that, which we could show you also. There's, there's putting it in the window and, um, and um, using the oven, which that'll be another video. And then they can be powdered. I'm using a thingy. Pestle of water. Yes. So that's basically it for now. Uh, Hopefully this plant will now shoot forth even more flowers. Um, On a plant this size, uh, you, it's done the second batch of chilies without needing to take off the first batch because it's just so large. 
So some of the others are, uh, see the others quickly. This one here is probably done for a banana pepper, uh, aka the cappuccini, same sort of family range. It's not as hot as the hot wax, but it looks very similar to the hot wax. But they do grow differently if you've got both, so don't worry about putting them next to each other. Uh, this one's got a bit of red going down the side of it, but we are going to leave them on because we took one off the other day that had a bit of red down the side of it and it was done, but it wasn't that hot. I know these ones aren't that hot, but but yeah, we're going to leave it on to see if it changes flavour or anything. So that's it, well, I suppose. Well, there's those ones as well, which you've seen in another video. Uh, but yeah.